feel like you have to have everyone that you can get, and uh, especially after a little bit of a disappointment on Tuesday, I was hoping we'd bounce back and play a little bit better. And uh, despite a shaky seventh inning, um, I felt pretty good about our effort today. Yeah, um, Brooke, uh, like you said, ex except for that last inning, the f first six, she was she was pretty steady out there, and you had some key hits also. Yeah, the game. yeah, we had some clutch hits. Mo Monique Mata, our catcher, uh, drove in a couple runs today, and. Uh, We've been DHing for her throughout the season, and she had a good practice yesterday. We thought we'd give her a shot, and she really came through for us. Uh, Brooke had the changeup really working well today, and mixed it up nicely. And uh, despite the shaky seventh inning, she came through for us just like we need her to. And let's just hope it continues by uh, the next few weeks. Did you get a little concerned there, um, um, or you know, she, she's just the, the person you want out there? Uh, she's the one we want out there, and she was feeling good. She wasn't tired. She wasn't you know laboring or anything. And uh, we didn't feel like we needed to take her out. Uh, did have some flashbacks to Tuesday, but we worked through it emotionally. And, and got well, just talk. Uh, you, you, you were steady most of the game. Just talk. What, what was the thing in the, that last inning? Or was it them just kind of stepping up? Um, they got to back to the top of their lineup, and their lineup's really good hitters. So if I don't put the ball in good places, they're going to start getting hits. And they're just getting in the right places at the right time. What was the the key to the first six innings for you? I, I think up to that point you only gave up two hits. Um, I think I was just hitting my spots good. My coach was calling the right pitch, and my defense was helping me out behind me. Um, coming off the tough loss last week and being at home these first, is this the game you, f you guys felt get, you had to win here today? Um, coming from losing from Chino Hills, fourteen to twelve, was really hard for us. So it was a good comeback win for us. Obviously, that's a, a, a pretty tough loss. Um, you guys had some chances, and just talk about that, that last inning. Where oh, yeah, it's like I was telling them right now. It's like we can't wait to the seventh inning. I mean, yeah, we almost came back, but we can't wait to the seventh inning. We should have been doing it throughout the whole game, hitting. We just didn't hit today. As like I was telling them, there was a few bad calls, but you can't give that as an excuse. I mean, you have to play the game. Yeah, talk about that, 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 that one call where you... you um, then the, I think it was in the second inning. Yeah. Yeah. The runner was at third, and they hit a little dunker over um, the third baseman and hit her. And they said it was still a light ball. I mean, by rule, it should have been a dead ball, and it should have been first and second. But they called her out, and then they threw the ball at second for a double play. Mm -hmm. And it was a wrong call. But like I said, we can't dwell on that. We have to keep playing. And mm -hmm. we just didn't hit till the seventh inning. I mean, mm -hmm. when you don't have, you only have three outs mm -hmm. in an inning, and you make one here, one here, and you don't have that many chances. Mm -hmm. What, did, did, did they tell you what the actual rule was? It Was it they runner's interference? Her, since the ball hit her, she was out. Uh -huh. And since the runner at first didn't go to second, they threw the ball over. There was still a light ball, and uh -huh. that was a double play. Oh. It should have been a dead ball uh -huh. because they hit a, a runner, but mm -hmm. they didn't call it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah.